that's me guys, enjoying a little me time on the sofa, scrolling through my phone and daydreaming about all those breathtaking places I've been dying to visit. But wait, hold on a second, something's not right here. I seem to be disappearing? Where the hell am I? I think that I teleported myself to the place I was looking at the phone. But it's all thanks to the magic of editing guys. In today's video I'm going to show you how to make teleportation a reality. At least in your videos using Adobe Premiere Pro. First inside Premiere Pro I've got two videos, me sitting on the sofa and then only the sofa. To remove the background you're gonna need a green screen or After Effects. In my case I was using After Effects because I didn't have a green screen and I was using the rotor brush. It's really good but you will see later that the results are not perfect. So ideally if you have a green screen go for it because it will look much better so now having both videos onto the timeline make sure that the one without the background it's at the top and then the other one it's at the bottom and now the next thing i'll do is go to the shape tool and select the ellipse tool then i'll go to the program monitor and drag a ellipse over me like that and i'm gonna press escape and v so i can reposition it and increase the size of it so i can cover most of my body and also i'm gonna move the cursor at the beginning after that i'm gonna go to the effect control panel open the shape properties scroll down to transform click onto the anchor points and make sure that it's exactly at the middle of the ellipse then i'll go to scale create a keyframe and hide the ellipse then i'm gonna move the cursor all the way almost at the end of the video and increase the size of it until it covers the whole body then i'll select the second keyframe right click he's in then the first keyframe and he's out and now when i play it we've got that animation so the next thing we will do is go to effects and type down track mate i'll grab the track mate key effect and drop it over to the video without the background then i'm gonna go to the effect control panel and from mate i will choose video number three because the graphic layer is on video track number three then from reverse i'm gonna tick that option and what we've got is that animation but we are nowhere near teleportation yet so to achieve a little bit of teleportation i will go back to effects and type down turbulent i'll grab the turbulent displace effect and drop it over the graphic layer then i will go back to the beginning of this video and then i will increase the amount to 128 and decrease the size to probably 10 and you can play around with these values until we get the best result for you then again i will go to the turbulent displace effect and apply it again onto the graphic layer but this time it will be above the first effect and this time i'm going to create keyframes onto amount and evolution so the amounts i will increase it to 188 and then the evolution is going to stay zero then i'll move to the second keyframe of the scale go back to the amount and increase it to 190 it's a small difference but you're going to see the impact later and then i will increase the evolution to you have to play around here as well so you have to watch out in my case it's going to be 134 it looks great so let me play it see what it looks like okay it looks not too bad so also i'm gonna increase the complexity to 10 as well now when we've done this i will select the graphic layer hold alt and duplicate it once also i'll duplicate the video without the background once as well i'll select it and delete the track made key effect because we don't need it select the second graphic layer go to effects and type track mate so this time we will apply the track mate onto the second graphic layer and from mate i will choose video number five then i will scroll down to the shape layer and deselect the fill option and enable the stroke option click onto the eye drop and select the red color now what i will do is select those two layers and nest them and then i'll go to effects type down glow i'll grab the vr glow effects and drop it over to the nested layer go to the effect control panel decrease the luma threshold to probably let's say 20 is fine then i'm going to decrease the glow radius to 10 as well increase the brightness to 10 and the glow saturation to 10 and already looks really really nice and that is one more thing that i want to do again from effects i'm gonna type down directional blur so i'm gonna grab the directional blur and apply it over to the nested layer and i will increase the blur length to 2. now let's play it and see the final result Okay guys, now when you know how to teleport yourself in Premiere Pro, you can watch this video if you want to find out how to create a burning transition. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.